Hi, this is problem 9 from the 2017 AIM. Let a sub 10 equals 10, and for each integer greater than 10, let a sub n equal 100 times a n minus 1 plus n. Find the least n greater than 10, such that a sub n is a multiple of 99. Alrighty, so we have this recursion relationship defining the values of a sub n in terms of a n minus 1. And we're looking for the condition where a sub n is a multiple of 99. So it looks like analyzing this equation in mod 99 is the way to go because we're looking for the case where this is equal to 0 in mod 99 and also this coefficient of 100 is conveniently equal to 1 in mod 99. So that's kind of the, the tip off that mod 99 is the way to go here. So let's try to analyze this in mod 99. So a10 is equal to 10 in modulus 99. a11 is just a10 plus 11. Again in mod 99. a12 is just a11 plus 12 now in mod 99. So in mod 99, this recursion relationship is really quite simple. We see that a sub n is just equal to 10 plus 11 all the way up to n, again, in mod 99. So if we pull out our formulas for the sum of an arithmetic series, we see that a sub n is equal to 1 half n plus 10, n minus 9. And we're looking for the condition where this is a multiple of 99, so it's some positive integer k times 99. And we're looking for n 10 or larger, so why don't we do just a simple variable substitution to make this thing a little bit easier to look at. Why don't we just call this some positive integer m. Now this is some positive integer m plus 19. So it looks like we're looking for the condition where m plus 19 times m is equal to some k now times 9 times 11. So essentially we have a product of two numbers where we're looking for the condition where these two numbers pick up both the factors of 9 and the factor of 11. Now I don't see a, an easy way to figure out which is the lowest value of m that does that, so we'll have to look at the cases where we look at applying the factor of 11 to the m variable and the case where we apply the factor of 11 to the m plus 19 variable. So in the first case we're looking for m to pick up the factor of 11 so m would have to equal to 11, perhaps 22, 33, 44 and if we back calculate what what the value of m plus 19 is this works out to 30, 41, 52, 63. Now 63 is a factor of 9, so this in fact does satisfy the condition of picking up a factor of 9 and 11. Now let's see if we apply the factor of 11 to m plus 19, then m plus 19 has to equal to 22, or perhaps 33, 44, or 55, which in turn uh, reduces a value of m of 3, 14, 25, 36. These are not factors of 9, but this is. So this also satisfies the condition that these two factors pick up the factor of 9 and 11. Uh, in this case, m is equal to 44. In this case, m is equal to 36. This is the lower of the two numbers. So m of 36 implies that n is equal to 36 plus 9. So n is equal to 44, excuse me, 45. And that's our final answer. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.